Hello friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Thursday and I have your word for the day. Now, most parents want something better for their kids than they experienced. Uh, they want their kids to have a better education, a better job, a better shot at life, a better marriage. In a nutshell, as parents, we want a better life for our kids because we love them. And God wants your kids to live a better life as well. God wants to bless your children and your grandchildren far more than you and I can possibly imagine. In fact, God wants to bless all your descendants. But whether God blesses them, well, that's up to you. See, God is going to honor the choices that you and I make in our lives today. If you and I choose to put God first in our lives, God is going to overwhelm our children and their children with blessings. But if you and I choose to keep idols in our lives and fill our lives with emptiness, well, unless something changes within our kids, they will experience the emptiness of idols that you and I experience as well. In the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verses 4 through 6, God says this, You must not make for yourself an idol of any kind or an image of anything in the heavens or on the earth or in the sea. You must not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God who will not tolerate your affection for any other gods. I lay the sins of the parents upon their children. The entire family is affected, even children in the third and fourth generations of those who reject me. But I lavish unfailing love for a thousand generations on those who love me and obey my commands. If you and I, if we want to be a blessing to our families, today we must choose to walk in obedience. If we want our children and descendants to experience God's unfailing love, we must choose to be obedient to Him today. And that means to make a decision, to make a commitment, to live a lifestyle of continual repentance. As a follower of Jesus, you're going to mess up. But when we put God first, even when we mess up, it looks as though it is a life of continual repentance. It's repenting of creating an idol of pleasure. It's repenting of the idol of selfishness in our lives. And when we do that, when we live that lifestyle of continual repentance and continual trust in God, your obedience will serve as a foundation of blessing for generations to come. And that's good news. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, or leave a comment. God bless.